prescribed for bottles of a certain prescribed medicine in random variable is a random variable having the density function shown below. Find the probability that a bottle of this medicine will have a shelf life of at least 2000 days, anywhere between 90 and 130 days. Now, the difference between this problem and the early ones is that here x is a continuous variable. So you see the values of x cannot be counted. Greater than zero means all positive values and you cannot count them out. Yeah, so the continuous variable in this case. So here, uh, what we do uh, as summation in case of discrete variable is replaced by integration. And continuous variable integration takes place of summation uh, from the discrete variables. So at least 200 days means you have to find probability x is greater than or equal to 200. So in a continuous variable, whether you say greater than or equal to 200 or you say greater than 200, it's the same thing. What it would mean is it would mean the integral from 200 to infinity of f of x. So in general, the probability x greater than a would be the integral from a to infinity of the density function. So the probability function in case of a continuous variable is called density function. So this is equal to 200 to infinity, and now I replace f of x by 20,000 over x plus 100 q, because I need the definition of x that applies from x equals 200 up to infinity, and this is the one that applies over there, because that's the one that applies for all positive values of x, and between 200 and infinity, all the values are positive. And now this is basic integration. You can pull the constant out, 20,000, and you can write this as x plus 100 power negative three. Now, sometimes you are taught to do this kind of integral by substitution because the basic power rule is just an x power n. But even if you have x plus a constant or x minus a constant, you can pretend that this is just like an x. And so you can apply the power rule right here and it would be x plus 100 power negative two over negative two by the power rule. So 200 to infinity. And this simplifies to 20,000 over negative two is negative 10,000. And I can write this. So whenever you are substituting infinity as the limits, it helps if you make all powers positive before applying the limits. So that you know exactly what's going on with the infinity part. So we one over infinity plus 100. minus one over 200 plus 100 square. Now, infinity plus 100 is infinity. When you square it, it's still infinity. You have one over infinity, which is zero. So this part is just gone. That part is zero. And you are left with 10,000 over 300 square, the negative and the negative become a positive. So this would be uh, 10,000 over 90,000. So that's 0 0.111 to three decimal places.
Okay. Part B, and you want the probability that life is anywhere from 90 to 130 days. So in this case, you will integrate, instead of integrating from 200 to infinity, you will integrate from 90 to 130. And otherwise it's exactly the same. <clears throat> Okay, so let's look at this one now. The total number of hours measured in units of 100 hours that a family runs a vacuum cleaner over a period of one year is a continuous random variable X that has a density function shown below. Find the probability that over a period of one year, a family runs their vacuum cleaner less than 135 hours. So this is in units of 100 hours. So the X between zero and one is actually X between zero and 100. And so, and this one, second one is for X between 100 and 200. Okay, so we want less than 135 hours. So A, probability X less than 135 is equal to zero to, so less than 135 in this case. So technically, less than 135 would mean negative infinity to 135. So you want all part of the number line that is less than 135. So negative infinity to 135 of fx dx. But uh, from negative infinity to zero, it's zero because they say that between zero and one, it's x and between one and two, it's two minus x and elsewhere, it's zero. So you would break it up into negative infinity to zero. Plus zero to So one thing which we can do is we can either change because we know that this is actually zero to 100 and this is 100 to a 200. So we can just do that. Just think of this one as a hundred and this two as a 200. Similarly here, one is a hundred. So zero to 135 fx dx. So let's just rewrite this fx that fx is actually x when x is between zero and a hundred and it's two minus x when x is between a hundred and two hundred. Okay. So this part is zero because between negative infinity to zero, this is zero. So this is gone. So we have zero to 135 and uh, now, okay, so although we could do that, but since they are in the whole thing, X is being built up in uh, units of 100 hours. So actually it's more correct to do, uh, so this, this may lead to an error because then we'll have to make adjustments over here as well. So what we will do is we will adjust this unit, x less than one. So when, when you're talking about less than 135 hours, you're talking about less than 1.35 hours. So we will not do this. 1.35, so this is 1.35, 1.35. And we will keep uh fx dx so now 
between zero and one, we have this definition. So we will further break this integral up into zero to one fx dx plus one to 1.35 between one and 1.35, we have the second definition. And that's why we're going to break it up like this. And now between zero and one, the function is x. And between one and 1.35, it's two minus x. So this would be x squared by two. And the integral here would be two x minus x squared by two. Okay, so this is one by two minus zero plus here when you substitute the two, so we two times 1.35 minus 1.35 squared by two minus the lower limit is one, so two minus one by two. Okay, now let's just evaluate this whole thing. Let's see, two times 1.35 minus 1.35 squared by two minus 1.5 plus a half in the beginning. So I get 0 0.7, Probability family runs vacuum cleaner between 45 and 95 hours. So in this case, okay, let's just do a new page. So between 45 and 95, so remember X is in units of hundreds. So you want probability X is between 0.45 and 0.95. So that will be the integral from 0.45 to 0.95 of FX dx. And between 0.45 and 0.95, or both, both of these are between zero and one. So actually in this case, it's just this definition that applies. Fx is equal to x in all this range. So you get x squared by two. And so that'd be 0 0.95 squared by two minus 0 0.45 squared by two. And let's see what that is. It's 